Hello, 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 and thank you once again for tuning in to Celebrity Variety Talk. I'm your host, Josie Latimer, coming to you this evening about Jeffrey Epstein's death. As we all know, um, he's been under a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure from all of these women that you see here and possibly many, many more women, you guys. And guess what? There are other men in his position that they will be finding out exactly who they are. They made the investigators, the FBI, and they already know who these molesters are. There are many, many, many rich men out there, and a lot of them have always been with these younger girls and have paid them off, and now the stuff is hitting the head. What's in the dark is finally coming to the light. However, I don't wish death on anyone. I wish Epstein would have taken it like a man and just went on to his court proceedings and just went all the way through like Bill Cosby is doing at his age. If Bill Cosby could do it, he could do it too. But I guess he just didn't want to face 45 years plus for uh, all of these crimes that he sexually molested these little girls 14 years, probably under 14 years um, and over or possibly 14 years and under. It's really, really a sad situation. It's a sad situation because no one actually knows what happened. Everyone is saying this, everyone is saying that. Nobody actually knows but him and if there was anyone else involved, he would know who they were and he probably wanted to go because of facing all of those years. Now, my take is that I don't know if uh, other people are upset because of the fact that he is calling out other men, but I've always said that from the top to the bottom, men are very, very highly aroused when it comes to young girls and sex. It happens every day. We hear it all of the time. There are many, 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 many more. But some men are weaker than others. Some commit suicide. Some are Kelly. Um, he's in jail. Bill Cosby. I don't think Weinstein is there yet. But a lot of people are wondering if they're going to commit suicide. Because, see, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. The richest person in the world is no better than me, you, or anyone else because for the love of money, this is what happens. A lot of people think because they have money, they're more powerful than God, and God just brings you all the way down to the ground. And my mother always said, you don't have to go so high because, baby, when you fall, you fall real, real low and in the pits of hell like what's happening to him today. Happening to him happening to a lot of men and, and you guys you know what many many men are afraid because you know what they're gonna get caught it's coming out they know a lot of stuff that we don't know and all this stuff is coming to a head because of for the love of money is the rule of all evil men in power they think their money is God they think they can just own the world but anytime there's a creator that created the world no human being can go past that. When you do wrong, no human being. I don't care how much money people can be trillionaires. They ain't no better than me, you, or anybody else. Matter of fact, it's worse. Because when you have money, you do have women that come after you with, for your money. A lot of girls are set up. They're set up by their pimps. They're set up by their parents. They're set up because they're fast and they just want to you know, be with men with money, and but it doesn't mean a man have to molest a child. It doesn't matter. Matter of fact, a man should give the little girl money and say, go home to your parents. If a little girl that's under the age of an adulthood and she happens to meet a rich man, he... If he's older than her, he should give her the money and tell her to carry her butt home and go to bed so she can go to school tomorrow. It's wrong. It is totally wrong because a lot of these molesters out there, 
They wouldn't want anybody molesting their children. My God, they'd be ready to kill someone. So what I'm saying, you guys, oh, before I end, please click like, share, and subscribe, and thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, what, I, what I wanted to say is that you hear it all the time. A lot of times women do lie, and they say, oh, I'm 18, and then it's too late. Sometimes men do get a bad rap. I'm not going to lie to you. I know a lot of men have gotten a bad rap. Women set them up for babies. Women set them up get all this child support and they may have two or three men helping them take care of the kids and you know it's a lot a lot of women that mistreat men and a lot of mothers out there can tell you that that has happened to their sons I've seen it happen to my brothers I've seen it happen to many men but it has nothing to do with when you molest a child that's the point the point is is that when you molest a child and a child hasn't had a chance to start their own life, whether it's a girl or a boy, you are taking that child too fast. And oftentimes those kids have mental problems, they have breakdowns, they run away from home, and they hit the streets. They get with pimps and prostitutes and their life gets to be a mess, like R. Kelly's did, because remember, R. Kelly um, brother said that his sister molested them since they were like six years old. She would call them in the house and molest them when their mother was at work. And R. Kelly, he didn't say it was his sister, but he did get online. He did say he was molested. And that was why he was messed up. He was messed up. And just like they're going after these men molesters, I think they should go after the women too. A molester is a molester. A pedophile is a pedophile. I wouldn't care if it's a man, woman, dog, or cat. Go and get them. Go and get them. And the women that are getting paid, if indeed they did anything wrong in their hearts and they were of age, then they too would have to pay in some way, shape, form, or fashion if that was the case. But when it comes to a child, it's just no excuse for it at all. So all of those men out there that he's squilling on and he told before he died, that's why a lot of people, even today, I heard people talking just in the public, you guys, and they were like, oh no, I think someone killed him because he was telling on all these big time people that was in the same boat with him. Because see what happens when a rich man gets caught, he feels like, why should this other rich man get by? I'm going to tell. And nine times out of ten, if you do a crime with somebody, you best better believe it. Someone's going to tell on, on the other person so that they can save their own butts. That's what happens in this type of situation. And that is why when you have money and you're in power, you have to stay clean because your money can't save your life when something this horrific like this happens. I don't care who you are. And even if you don't get busted by the law, the universe is going to bust you down before you leave here. Nobody can escape the law of the universe that God created on this heaven and earth. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're white, black, blue, green, yellow, orange, whatever. I don't know what you think in your mind, these people. But I know you see it with this. You've seen it with Bill Cosby. You've seen it with R. Kelly. You've seen it with Weinstein. You've seen it with a lot of people that have money. It's almost better not to have any and just be left alone. And that was why my mother always said, what goes up will come, come down. So you don't have to be so high and mighty that you think your money is God. Because when God whips you, all these people with all this money that thinks that they're better than the next man that may not have any money, boy, they have to pay just like this. And it's really a sad, sad situation. So you guys, let me know what you think. Do you think someone actually killed him or do you think he killed himself? Because he was on a suicide watch. So where was the watchers? Where were the jailers? Where, the, where were the people that would supposedly watch him to keep him? Because if he already attempted it, he shouldn't have had no inkling or no way to commit suicide. He shouldn't have had any way out. He should have had to just go through it like Bill Cosby and just sit his time and do his time and take it like a man. 
but someone possibly, but no one knows if anyone had anything to do with it. And it will come out just like this came out in the dark with him and all these women. That's going to come out too. So you guys, please click like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you think about uh, this situation, Jeffrey Epstein. And I really, really hate um, this man put himself in that position. But he did. Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Weinstein. And just watch. It's going to be a lot and many, many more, you guys. Keep your eyes open. And just watch what I say. It's going to be many more men. And I bet you they're walking on eggshells because it doesn't matter how much money you have. You are no better than me, him, her, the poorest person under the bridge. No better.